Hello and welcome. We are working on the implementation of clean architecture and uh, till now we have implemented controller and service layer. And now we will write the last layer, which is the data layer. And after this, I will try to show you the complete flow starting from the controller and how the controller interacts with the service and then service connects to the data layer and how the, this whole flow works. So let's start with the data layer. So in the data layer, we have right, right now there is nothing inside and uh, let's see. Okay. So in data layer, we have interface already defined. We will implement this interface in the data layer. So let's write the struct. So what we do is normally we write the struct. So we'll say type book data layer impl, which is implementation struct and inside this struct what we normally do is we initialize the database connection but right now my focus is not to create a web application and then connect it to the data database so i will not be writing anything uh, in this uh, struct i'll keep this as blank if you want me to create a complete web application using clean architecture and using the eco framework i can do that but now my focus is to clarify and to show you the clean architecture flow and now we will write function to to initialize the data layer so i will say func the new let me see what uh, how we used to write okay we used to say new book impulse service so we will say new book data layer impl implementation then um, again here we pass the connection object and then we for example here i have let me just show you let's say i will say db connection and maybe i will write something db connection and here i may write something like sql dot db and uh, here as a parameter i will take the the reference of the sql dot db and then and inside this i can create an object for example i can create an object like uh, book book uh, data layer impl i can pass the connection and i say con so uh, like that this is not my focus is today so i'll keep it blank and uh, here i will just create i'll just create the object of the data layer so let me correct the name book data layer and here also book data layer so what i'm trying to do is uh, i will just return this i'm creating an object and i'm just returning this but here i will have to implement the interface the interface of a uh, data layer which is intf dot uh, book data layer right okay now i have implemented the interface and i have created the object of the book data layer struct and uh, this will be this the caller will get the object of this structure now i will have to if i save this file so here it will ask me to implement the uh, method defined in the uh, interface as you can see uh, right now my uh, book data layer implementation does not implement the interface and the method of the interface which is get book by id so let me let me implement the interface so let me copy the interface from here because it will be a function so i'll say copy here i will have to implement the function the missing function and this is the function uh, I, I will write the func here i will write the reference of the structure so i will say book data layer and here i will say book data layer impl okay and uh, now within within this method i can i can write anything but now i want to write a test method so let me save this now with this implementation the data layer is ready and um, we can uh, we, we can execute this application but since there is nothing inside we are not printing anything 
So let me write a test method in all the services in controller, in service, and in data layer, and then we will uh, see how it works. So here I will say, let's say I am writing test. Let's say test book service, and this test book service will only will will take context. Let's say only context. Okay. And likewise, let's write another service, another method, and uh, that will be test book service. Sorry, test book data layer. And this will be this will take context, right? So very simple. And let's save this. As we will save this, and I will show you that the service layer will start to say that please implement the missing function as you can see the red line here and here we have an error which is actually saying that you are not implementing the method which you have declared in your interface but it's not available here why because we are implementing the interface and it is necessary to implement all the method so test book service is not here so let's Let's write this. Uh, let's copy the same. Copy this and uh, function. And let's make it a type of book service. So I will say service and it's a book service implementation. Right. And now if I save this, and as you see, uh, the, the error has gone. The same way we have to, uh, here we have to. Uh, implement the method here again it's saying the implement the method is missing so let's implement this method copy this from here and uh, func let's copy and make it a type of data layer so book dl or maybe simply let's just just write data layer Let's make it simple, right? So no need to write book. Let's write data layer book service input. Okay, now save this and the error has gone. Now in the controller layer, let's write a new function. Let's copy this one. Uh, uh, sorry, let's write a new function here. Let's say, let's copy this one. And this is the same get method, and we will just write test, and uh, we will call. We will say let's implement a new function, and the name of the function is uh, test only test, right? And uh, here it will be test. So now uh, in this test method, we will call the service and how to call the service. We will use this book controller object and we will say book dot or I will uh, let me make it more clear. I will say controller, controller object, controller object, C and controller object. And here I will say controller controller object dot if i as, as i say dot and if i try to see the the details you can see i have a book service object right a book service i will say book service and uh, so what is a book service so actually you see the book service is the uh, the interface variable we define in the book controller uh, struct and then we as we are assigning the object which we are getting using the main method to the book service and i can say now dot and i will call the methods of the book service which is test book service right i'll call the test book service and now let's check what is in the test book service so here as you can see the test book service this one is the test book service which will be executed when we call the controller test book service expecting the context right this is the context we have eco context and using this eco context we can we can get the request 
uh, contact. So how we can do that? I will say request contacts and I can say ec dot because ec is a variable name ec dot request request dot uh, context context right okay now we have a variable with the name of request context and we can pass this variable here like this okay so now our test controller is calling so let let me write something here as well let me write the the print line the fmt dot um, dot println and here i can say for example inside a book controller okay now we are inside the book controller right now let's let's save this and let's check is it all good okay okay return statement is missing because we are returning the error we can say return nil there is no error okay all good now we will go to the book service and here what we have so now we will have a con the the controller will be will be call will call this book service and here we can execute our business logic so let's see for the for the time sake we will just write or we will say print print ln and just copy that by the way no need to write again let's copy this and paste it here and say inside book service right and inside book service we want to call the data layer right so let's check the data layer what is there so we have book uh, test book data layer so we will say service right what where is this service coming from this service is this object right the type they struct the book service implementation and we have to find the book service book data layer inside it so i will say book service dot okay book data layer right right we are correct book data layer dot and dot and here we have test book data layer okay so let me uh, rename this let me say book data layer let's give a complete name let's copy this and uh, paste it here and also here and this also takes the context so we can pass the same context ctx right and let's try to save this okay all good and in the data layer we actually perform the database operations insert update delete via via the connection but since we don't have any connection we can just write inside book data layer right and this is how the flow will complete okay let's go to the main method and now here as you can see we haven't configured the data layer so let's configure the data layer now we will say uh, data layer and uh, we have a package name database database dot database dot new book data layer okay and uh, this new book data layer actually is getting nothing there is nothing inside and we can then pass data layer in the service layer data layer let's check what is the what is this problem actually uh, let's go to the detail here okay we have this connection which i was showing you uh, it should not be here so let's save this and come back okay now it looks good okay 
so now I think it's it looks good to me, and uh, we have actually injected the data layer into the service and the service into the controller and controller actually is is the one which will get the request and will do a routing so now let's try to execute this and let's try to build up and execute so let's do the go build okay okay let's uh, we are not using version 4. That's okay. Let's build again. Okay. It has been built, and I will say clean app. Okay, so the app is now working. And uh, I can open up my browser, and here I can say HTTP. 89 uh, sorry local host colon 1890 and uh, which url we want to call actually let's see in the controller we want to call slash test right so let me call slash test okay okay now i think let's check the result okay as you can see here first our the book controller got executed then inside book service this one and then the data layer so as you can see how we connected different layers how we injected different layers and now they are all working so the purpose of these videos were to show you how you can implement the clean architecture and how different layers in clean architecture interacts so i hope this will be helpful for you and if you could not understand something, let me know. And I will share this code with you on GitHub so you can refer that. And uh, thank you for watching.